yeah so i was completing my sentence what we are experiencing right now is uh, a type of delay uh, which is because of the simulator so when you'll run it on the hardware this uh, delay is not going to come over there so just to showcase you that there is no delay and uh, our our calculation and everything is quite precise you can use one additional tool that is present in the software simulator okay so we'll stop it stop the simulation will come to the simulator uh, okay we'll uh, have a new window and there will be a timing chart okay so in the timing chart what you need to do is that you come over here right click then select pin okay select pin it was p63 right so p63 is here now you can run it again and you will be able to see the level of uh, pin 63 changing over here as well so you are able to see now this line went up because it's high now okay and uh, this line is going to come down yeah it went down when it is low now okay so this transition will be there uh, right in front of you in the simulation so once again this uh, it is there so i'm going to stop it now to calculate the time between the in the transition so what uh, we can do is that we have to place a marker see uh, first uh, use uh, this display uh, one uh, one divided by 32 so that you can easily catch the transition or you will not be able to catch it yeah it is here okay so once you have got it so mm, keep it in the center and try to zoom it you will be able to zoom it till 2 okay once you are there so right click over here not able to right click okay yeah right click over here put marker b so um, marker b and now I have placed the marker B over here so I'll be moving to the left side okay yeah first we have to select one divided by 32 and where is the transition So we can directly place a marker A over here. Okay. So you can see uh, marker A is basically placed at this time and marker B is basically placed at this time. And when you subtract this value from this value, so you get the difference between the two markers uh, time. Okay. And that is exactly 1000 millisecond. And 1000 millisecond is basically one second. So hence proved uh, the the code that we have written it is capable of generating a uh, delay of uh, one second or whatever seconds you want to you just have to use it in the argument basically you just you, you can give the argument uh, to be the delay that you want in millisecond time so that is how you can create a delay function and this was the motive of the video that how to use uh, timer array unit in order to create a standard delay function which you basically get in other microcontroller so this was all for uh, these uh, video series and i hope uh, you are able to recreate the same in your systems and practice it so best of luck to you guys whoever is trying this out and if you have any kind of doubts you can write in the comment section and uh, i will try to definitely help you out with that Okay, thank you.